Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So in the last episode, we finally made it here to Whitefall and we saw a weird cat and got a bunch of story shoved down our throat and now we're here killing small innocent slimes. Because I enjoy it, don't judge me. Not bad. That's a pretty big slime. It'll probably summon more slimes if we give it a chance. The big snow slime is almost half dead. Wow. Okay. That one's dead. Focusing the big snow slime. Does she not have a hit all spell yet? No, she doesn't. Alright, I'll have her attack that one. And I'll actually swap Matt so that I can do hit all. And it's dead. They're all dead. We got eight snowballs for that. That was an incredibly easy battle. Alright, before we head back north... Um... I mean, I might as well kill them, right? And that one's dead. And that one's dead. Big snow slimes. Oh, a slimy situation. Well, this is humili humiliating. I'll never hear the end of this. So that's unfortunate. Everyone's focusing him now that he's a slime. Slime, cannot take a turn, cannot catch items. Stats greatly reduced. No cure exists except death or time. Okay. Um, I cannot swap him out. Great. I can heal him, though. Yeah, that's a... Uh, slimy situation. I'll show you that metal in a moment, once we finish this battle. Actually, I'll just show it at the end of this episode, like I will with the rest of the ones that we've got in the past episode. Um... Guess I'll just focus you for now. There we go, he's back to normal. And that one's dead. And that one's dead. Too easy for me. Solid water, snowballs, and rainbow gems. Nice. Please do not report any sewage spills to us. Clean them up yourself. Our funding was cut, so there will be no f further cleanup effort. These slimes are full of bombs. They might be considered a safety violation. I mean, just maybe. Maybe. Sludge slime, eh? Zero. Okay. I was expecting that to do something to it. I should have scanned it first, but sure. Sludge slime, level 14. A weak enemy that may self destruct at any time, dealing bomb damage. Weak to fire, explosions, electricity. It is. It actually absorbs darkness and poison. Immune to earth. And. 
weak to wind. That one's dead. Alright, didn't blow up yet, that's good. Time to bomb you. And now we don't have to worry about being blown up. So it's easy game. Alright, more snowballs, because, you know, we can never have enough of those. I just realized I never read this. Big Snow Slime, level 17, a huge version of the Snow Slime. Uses ice attacks, has low evade, summons snow slimes. Speak to fire, earth, poison, and darkness. Absorbs water and ice. Error. Secondary plant door has been closed unexpectedly. Rob F9 was not notified of any plans to close this door. The door can only be opened from inside. Rob F9 cannot proceed. Looks like there's more than one way into the waste disposal to plant, but I guess this door is only open from the bleh, only opens from the inside. So that's important for later. Keep that in mind. Uh, I wish they would just demolish the waste disposal plant. It's doing more harm than any good. The entire east side of Whitefall stinks like raw sewage. Now excuse me, like. Bleh, bleh. I'm starting to feel not so good. Same. I don't even smell any. I mean, yeah, Lance wouldn't. He deals with, you know, uranium. It's just not good. Alright, fire for you. And now it's time for bombs. I, what? Oh, this feels kind of nice. Well, apparently she's into that. Wool and snowballs. Alright, so there's nothing to do over here, sadly, because that stupid rocks and all that. Oh wow, how cute! How can those cats even hold their weapons? <laughs> Filthy, nasty, disease-carrying beasts. Uh... I'm Adam. I wasn't expecting any shark attacks on the land. Looks like we're not safe anywhere anymore. Okay. Uh, so we have... That's not what I'm trying to... Look. Cat Soldier, level 15. A warrior fighting to freeze people from oppression. Loses his shield in defense after being hit once. We do fire, electricity, ice, water, poison. Igloo Fort, level 15, not an actual igloo, it uses bomb attacks and can buff other foes. Weak to fire, earth, and poison. So, poison, you say? Fire, you say? Uh, bomb, bombs, I, I don't know. Uh, just gonna swap out because Matt is kind of more useful. Fire, you say? <laughs> um, guess I'll ki start killing this one. Fire upon this one. Hmm, they may look tough, but there's only, still only cats. And I'll kill this cat soldier because why not? Now any and all 
you know, passive effects hit this guy. Poison, you say? Fire, you say? More fire, you say? <laughs> fire, fire, yeah! Alright. This battle isn't too tough. They're a bit tanky, but they don't deal enough damage to be, you know, an actual threat. We got cat food. Even dogs like it. Snowball, iron ore, and wool. Okay, let's try forging our weapons now. We found a battery. Use this to power up machines in the factory. I can't get through here without some kind of like silver or brass key or something. Power on. It appears that some rogue AI has taken over the factory. It's controlling most of the worker bots and causing them to attack humans. They've also locked most of the doors, but luckily there's emergency switches for manual operation. So we can still get around the factory then, as long as we activate the switches? Yeah, pretty much. That and some doors might need additional power too, so make sure to grab any batteries you find lying around. Switches and batteries are good. Robots are bad. Got it. I mean, if just want to be simple about it. Wait. Oh. We got the seven segment display. It can be used to display your power level. Red LED and snowballs. Realm of Robots. So this is the waste disposal plant. I guess we can expect to find a lot of garbage in here. Maybe we even see some cool stuff. Factors like this are usually covers for secrets and illegal activities. There could be some dangerous stuff going on here, like the development of new high-tech weapons. Well, if that's happening, we'll definitely be the test targets. Alright. Um, switches, you s Oh. Yeah, switches, you say? Let's target these guys and scan them. I, I meant to say scan, not target, but I just went with it. Copperfish, level 15, a copper flying fish robot. Uses fire, thunder, and bomb attacks. Launches final attack when defeated. Okay, uh, hit him with bombs and wind is what I'm hearing. Wind, you say? Uh, bombs, you say? Yeah, these guys aren't that bad. Ow. Don't be rude. Um... Wind, right. Uh... This one? This one. Cool, not that bad. I really don't know what to do with her, so I'm just gonna hope that he can hit both of them. Or I can try to kill both of them with the tank. Not quite. Alright. <laughs> it missed. Nice! I wonder who thought it was a good idea to design a robot that looks like a flying fish. I figured that kind of thing would happen, sadly. How do these guys feel about Earth? Ah, they're immune to it. Alright, let's scan the new fishy enemies. Steelfish, level 15, a steel flying fish robot uses wind, thunder, and bomb attacks. Launches a final attack when defeated. So this one's weak to bomb, wind, thunder. Which is better, but I need to heal this turn. Still not a lot of damage among them. Nice. Wind, you say? Thunder, you say?
bombs, you say? And beaten. Microcontrollers, red LEDs, springy springs, and steel plates. Too easy for me. Biovirus, probably not a good idea to keep this in your pocket. Curly horns and solid spikes. We need a hammer to get through there, sadly. I mean, this is probably the hammer right up here, right? So let's just do it. A bunch of these guys who are weak to bombs, so let's kill them all. They're, they absorb poison, so sorry, but I'm going to have to move you to the back. And dead bombs, you say? Too easy for me. Suicide slimes. I wouldn't want to live either if I were a slime. What, why did they get to attack again? What a speedy little guy. Okay, so that's actually an annoying thing they'll have to keep in mind. Wow, we didn't have to deal with any of those guys. Nice. So, there will be two explosions and wind. Uh, I mean, fire is not something you're strong against, you say. Fire is not something you're strong against, you say. Okay, they drop gunpowder, hand bombs, microcontrollers, springy springs, red LEDs, and steel plates. Got a couple more level ups from that. Silver Flare debuffs all foes' accuracy, glass, and silk. That apparently wasn't. Okay. I have confusion, but alright. Marathon Runner. Okay, that's not something I was expecting to get. You seem harmless, you may come in to you. I think he's actually afraid of us. Mindless Helicopter Drones. They'll never, ca they'll never stop chasing us until we destroy them all. That's convenient. Alright. Can I hear myself? So, uh, after almost an hour of recording now, I just realized that since I'm in a call with Cassie and she's at work right now, I kind of heard myself echoing, and I'm hoping that didn't show up in the recording, but I'm almost positive it did, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, awkward! So you're not, you're not strong against fire- ah, actually, wait, I'll just spend his turn scanning. Drillbot, level 15, an agile robot used for scouting and simple transportation tasks, uses bomb attacks. Okay, they're weak to bombs, wind, thunder, ice, but immune to both poison and earth. I mean, logically, that means I use thunder. I think he needs to upgrade the sol to solid state backing storage. Sure. And now we have all these ones to deal with, which we can do pretty easily, I think. Even when they're all focusing like this. Okay, fine, just keep being like that. Springy springs, glass, microcontrollers, red LEDs, and steel plates. We found donuts and beef in a factory. That's not a good idea to eat. Where are all these spikes here? It's almost as if they want to make it hard to walk around. This is starting to look like a real conspiracy. Look, these go straight through my these go straight through my shoes. There's no way to get past them. Hey, there's some more switches over there. Or well we could do this, or we could not, and just say next time on Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. 
Uh, this should be a good length of an episode, I hope, unless I'm just messing up the time in my head, but it should be fine. So guys, actually, before we... I promise something to all of you. To show off all these cool new medals, and if you don't care about this, leave the video now, because this is it. <laughs> There's slimy situation, get turned into a slime. Some people have a fetish for that kind of thing. Marathon runner, take 10,000 steps. Fun. Uh, we got power on. Power up a set of factory doors and open the next area. Uh, we got realm of robots. Enter the waste disposal plant for the first time. I see dead people. Enter Gravelin graveyard for the first time. Um, I don't know if I showed off rock miner, but this is what we got for beating him on epic difficulty. Okay, I'm not seeing any others that I've missed, so, you know, we can just keep on moving on. I'll see you guys next time.